So do you wish you had more self-confidence? I guarantee you have what you're looking for inside you. We just need to bring it out. Welcome back and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. A lot of people talk about how they wish they were more self-confident or they had more confidence. Today I'm going to give you four tips on how to find that confidence inside you and bring it to the surface. Also, stay tuned for the end. I'm going to give you a link where you can download our free leadership development plan workbook and get started on setting your career goals for the next two, five, and ten years. So people think of me as a confident person, and I am, but I wasn't always that way. And I look back to when I was young and a teenager and in college, and I was getting ready to go to my Air Force ROTC field training, and I was really nervous about going to field training because, to be honest, I wasn't the best runner, I wasn't the best at physical fitness, I wasn't the smartest kid going, and I honestly was not the best leader in the group. And I was really worried that I wasn't going to make it through these four weeks of field training. And it was hard, but I had a good support network around me. I got to field training. I had a great flight. They helped me out. And really, all I could do was just keep trying every day and keep getting up every morning and keep doing the best I could. And pretty soon, I was getting through the first day. And then I was getting through the second day. And then a week went by. And then two weeks went by. And before I knew it, that 28 days was over and I made it through. And I felt like I could do anything. I had all the confidence I could ever need. And don't get me wrong, there are days I have doubts still, but I look back on that experience and that's one of the things that helped me build my confidence. And building your confidence, bringing it to the surface is no different. Confidence isn't this mystical or magical quality that you're either born with or you never have it. It's absolutely something you can develop and grow inside yourself. Confidence is really just about trusting ourselves to be able to go do the things we want to accomplish. And if you're having doubts about, can I go accomplish this thing I want to do, ask yourself, what would I need to do to alleviate those doubts? Or what advice would I give someone else who's having those doubts? I know this is a hard question to ask ourselves, and I know it's even harder to answer sometimes. So here are my four tips. This is my best advice on how you can develop the confidence in yourself, bring it to the surface, and eliminate those doubts or reduce those doubts about, can I go achieve this goal I want to achieve? My first piece of advice for you for boosting your confidence is to start something new. Take on a new challenge. We develop our confidence by deciding we want to go out and do something, making the commitment to ourselves to go do it, and then following it through to the end. Whether that end is positive or negative, whether it's the outcome we wanted or not the outcome we wanted. Maybe it's a little different. Maybe it didn't turn out exactly the way we wanted, or maybe it didn't turn out anything like we wanted, but we followed it through to the end. And what we should do is we should look at a mix of things that are going to be easy for us to achieve and a mix of things that are going to be a little more challenging because the easy things will be quick victories for us. We'll feel more confident because we did something, we set out to do it, we did it, right? And it was easy, boosted our confidence. But we'll get more confidence, we'll feel better about ourselves, we'll feel stronger by doing things that are more challenging. One of the best things we can do for ourselves to develop our self-confidence is to recognize and acknowledge ourselves for the things we're good at and to play to these strengths when we're trying to tackle these challenges we placed in front of us. Try to draw analogies or parallels between the things that you know and you're good at and the things that are necessary to meet this goal. Try to bring it a little closer to what you know and are good at. Now it may not work, we may need to shift, we may need to pivot, we may need to try something else entirely, but it's a great place to start. Just as important as recognizing what we're good at to develop our confidence, we also need to recognize what we're not good at. And if we're not good at something and we need that thing to get to our goal, we need to figure out how to overcome it, get around it, or develop it with inside us, or find someone to help us. This is where a mentor or guide can be a great thing. This is where someone else can really help us get to our goal. We're not looking for someone to do it for us. We're just looking for a little bit of support and maybe someone who can give us some encouragement and a push along the way to get us closer to our goal without them having to do it for us. The fourth piece of advice I have for you if you want to build your confidence is to learn from failure. Even if we have doubts about what it is we're setting out to do, we have to try anyway. And we're going to try some things and we're going to fail at some things. Sometimes it's just going to not turn out exactly the way we wanted. Sometimes we're going to fail completely and spectacularly. And that's okay because when we fail, it gives us an opportunity. It gives us an opportunity to look at what we did, to look at what worked and what didn't work. It lets us learn. It lets us adapt. It lets us see that it's not the end of the world and it lets us do better next time. I know if you're not feeling confident about yourself that these four tips might sound easier said than done. So let me leave you with one last piece of advice that I use when I'm feeling doubts. Sometimes showing up is all we can do. We show up, we try, we may fail spectacularly, but we acknowledge ourselves for showing up and we commit to showing up again tomorrow. Just following through on showing up again the next day will help us boost our confidence even just a little bit. Like I said at the top of the video, this is my best advice if you want to develop your self-confidence. 
Looking back over my career in the Air Force, these are the tips that helped me, and I think they can help you too. Remember, confidence isn't something you can just develop overnight, but if you commit to at least one of these tips for three or four weeks, or at least committing to, I'm gonna show up every day for three or four weeks, I'm confident, see what I did there? I'm confident you'll see a noticeable change. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend or coworker, follow us on social media, and check out our YouTube channel. If you have any business or leadership questions, email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com or hit us up on social media. We'll be glad to answer those questions for you. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.